I welcome all of you with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Sri Mahans, Mahans, Tanidar Kotaris, owners of Sarvanya Pita, and IA Timili. Every one of you with my love and respects. City is sitting with us. Kolalampur Adina. I just want to tell you guys, Malaysia guys, Swamiji loves Malaysia and all of you. Other cities sitting with us, Los Angeles Adinam, Guadalupe Adinam, St. Louis Adinam, Phoenix Adinam, Indrani, New Jersey, and Hyderabad Gupta Kashi, Dubai Adinam, Hyderabad Adinam, and Trinidad Tobacco, Charlotte Sri Salem, Bangalore North. That's it. So I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Today we are entering into 18th verse. Recite along with me. Agnenaya Subhadara Ye Actually, the original word is Subhata Raye Padabeda is Subhadara Ye That's the way I heard from my master. So, I'll retain the Padabetam. So, in our Sangha, we will retain the Padabetam as I heard from my masters because they are from village and they had their raw pronunciation. I just wanted to keep that as a res my respect for them. Subhatara ye Asuman Vishwani Understand? Asman is the original verse. The part of Atham is Asuman the of U Asuman Vishwani, Vishwani Deva Vayunani Deva Vidwan Yuyotyasm Maju Hurana Mena Boyishtam De Nama Vuktim Videma Agni Naya Subhata Raye Asman So part of it, listen. Asuman It should not become full su. Asuman Vishwani Deva Vayunani Vidvan Yuyot Yasmajuhu Ranamena Boyishtam Te Nama Uktim Videma I have a book where all these Upanishads are translated in Tamil and printed which is used to teach Upanishads to me by my Guru Vipudananda Puri and Isaki Swami in that all the Padabetas I have marked some they marked in their own handwriting, some I marked in my handwriting. 
I still remember the Vibhudananda Puri will read out the verse. I have to repeat and then Isakki Swami will explain. So, I'll now read out the original translation and give you the sacred secrets behind this verse. O Agni, the fire god, knower of all our actions and all that is worth knowing, you must take us along the righteous and auspicious path of completion, leading us to experience the supreme consciousness, the original space of complete completion. O God, consciousness, you may remove all our incompletions that are obstacles on our good path of completion beyond coming and going, birth and death, unto you we surrender with many reverential words bowing down again and again. Listen. I'll read the translation once more. O Agni, the fire god, knower of all our actions and all that is worth knowing, you must take us along the righteous and auspicious path of completion, leading us to experience the supreme consciousness the original space of complete completion. O oh God, consciousness, may you remove all our incompletions that are obstacles on our good path of completion beyond coming and going, birth and death, unto you we surrender with many reverential words bowing down again and again. You need to understand. In Vedic tradition, Agni is considered to be the bridge to the original God, the oneness experience, Parabrahman or Sadashiva, whatever you may name it. That oneness, Agni is considered to be the bridge for that oneness because Anything which has a form, if you offer it to, into Agni, he will make it as formless. Incompletion is form, completion is formlessness. Understand, when you are complete, that is why you feel light, because there is no form inside, there is no heaviness inside, there is no visualization inside, nothing sitting inside. Anything assumes form is incompletion. Actually, when you are incomplete, you will see so many forms will be fighting inside you. In the space of completion, just no formlessness inside, I tell you. No forms inside, just formlessness inside. That is completion. Actually, in the space of completion, you won't even remember your form. When you don't remember your form, what happens to you is called grace. If you remember your form, do all the spare part fitting, removing, painting, tinkering, patipartifying, puncturing, adding, deleting, and do everything. Even after that, how it looks is called beauty. When you don't even remember your form, even in your inner space, what happens to you is called grace. Remembering and demembering your body is beauty. Demembering means what? Removing something and adding something. Remembering and demembering. When you remember, you all the time want to alter. I think just this nose, little sharp, could have been better. Mm, this ears, little small, could have been better. And this little bigger and this little smaller, I think that tree could have been much, much better. 
when you remember you always want to alter that is incompletion when there is no form remembered that is completion listen carefully whatever is offered in the fire he moves them from form to formlessness name to namelessness among the five elements two are with form two have no form the earth and water as form air and space as no form agni is the bridge which as form and doesn't have form you can't say agni is a form and you can't say agni is a formless is the bridge where forms merge and become formless is the bridge where incompletions merge and become complete is the bridge where sins merge becomes merit is the bridge where everything disappears and goes back to its source agnaye subadaraye agnenaye subadaraye agni is considered to be the door to gods understand just today i was talking to some of my mahans mahant of the gurukul and mahant from salem i was explaining to them where the best samits ahudis will be available in pure form in tamil nadu <laughs> they were wondering because the street name shop next to which shop how many shop all the details i was giving in which cities because when i myself was doing homas i used to follow agama fanatically i will not allow single even a small bit of paper or a plastic or anything to fall into that agni once i invoke the god or the goddess in the agni there was a time in 2001 to 2000 even 2000 till 2003 i myself will go to devotees houses or temples and personally do the homas sometimes 10 hours at a stretch 10 <laughs> hours at a stretch and days together sometimes even i remember 7 days 10 hours a day i used to conduct large scale homas chandi homas shri vidya homa i myself will sit and perform i myself will go to those shops and prepare the all the herbs and items needed to be offered if there is homa one week before itself i'll go and sit in those shops they will give two workers three workers to me separately so those workers will start i'll have a that book agama books and i'll dictate one by one they will take it and keep it clean wash it wash those herbs remove all the mud or any paper or plastic anything clean it up and then they will organize and give understand why i am narrating this incident because 
really, 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 the gods and goddesses you invoke in fire come there. Understand that. It is not imagination. It is not some small time pass game. Or it is not just to satisfy some online, the viewer or the person who paid. It is not profession. No. Understand? When you utter those sounds, invoke them in the fire, they are actually invited there. What you offer should be pure, clean, high quality because they are directly receiving it. You can't afford to disrespect them. Still I remember, at least one week I'll sit and prepare all the things required. Actually that one week itself, I am so much soaked in that memory, this is going to be offered to this God, this God, this God. The moment I sit in front of the fire and invoke, Ganadipata ye iha gacha iha gacha iha gacha iha gacha immediately I simply see them happening. So when I give, I can see very clearly from my hand, they just take it and inside. I have so many photographs and video records where my hand casually goes into the fire and does not even remember the hand is in fire. No question of having any wounds, but I don't even remember the hand is in fire because it's that gods are receiving. When the gods land, the fire loses its quality of hurting. Ordinary fire where you don't invoke God can hurt. But when you have invoked God, it is no more fire. It is only the body, but inside God is there. Agni is considered as the bridge in Hindu tradition, to relate with God. All of you should learn to relate with God in this three form. One, in the form of Guru and Deity in the temple. Second, in your own Ananda Ganda. Third, in the fire. First two you all learn relating through the Guru and through the deities. The second one relating through your own Ananda Ganda you will learn only by meditation. And the third one relating through the fire is very important because that is one of the important aspect of Vedic tradition, relating to God through the fire. Relating to God through the fire. Understand? Agni naya subhadara ye asman vishwani deva vayunani vidvan yuyot yasmad juhurana mena Bhoyishtam de nama bhuktim videma. Agni as the fire of God and worshipping it, offering in it, is one of the important signs. It is a science. This verse explains the whole science. Actually, just chanting this verse 1008 times, if you offer the ahuti, either ghee or whatever you want to offer, it will directly reach Sadashiva and it will lead you to completion. This mantra is the completion Homa mantra. Anybody wants completion can chant this mantra 1008 times and offer ahuti to Agni, you will achieve completion. Because this whole mantra is about praying to 
Parabrahman. Whatever word you want to use. Sadashiva, Mahadeva. Praying to Sadashiva, Mahadeva, Parabrahman. To give you completion. Through the Agni worship. Who Agni? The fire god. Knower of all our actions. And all that is worth knowing. You must take us along the righteous and auspicious path of completion, leading us to experience the supreme consciousness, the original space of complete completion. O oh God, consciousness, may you remove all our incompletions that are obstacles on our go good path of completion beyond coming and going. Birth and death unto you, we surrender with many reverential words, bowing down again and again. In this inner awakening, one day we will have this Homa. All the participants should sit around and should chant this thousand and eight times. This verse and offer Ahudi. That will be almost like a Nityanandoham process. Understand? It will not be just completion or Shivoham process. It will be like Nityanandoham process. One good thing this time, because Inner Awakening is in Bididi, some of the few important sessions I will open it on two-way video conferencing. You all can enjoy. <laughs> some of the important sessions, some of the important Shivoham and Nityanandoham sessions, I will open it to two-way video conferencing. All of you can enjoy. O oh, Agni, the fire god, knower of all our actions and all that is worth knowing. What a beautiful word is it. Agni Naya Subadaraye means whatever is our actions, you know, and whatever is worth knowing in the universe, you know that. How they set a context for God, understand? In what context even God is remembered? That's why I told you the other day in the satsang. Even if you sit in front of a stone and say, O oh stone, the representative of the cosmos, immediately that is God now. That is no more a stone. Understand? The moment you say, O oh stone, the representative of God, that's it. O oh stone, the representative of the cosmos. That's it. Now it is God, deity. Now it is no more a stone. Now anything you do with that stone now is done directly to God. Whether you offer something or pray, it is directly done to God. The moment you say, O oh fire God, you know all my, all our actions and whatever is worth knowing in the universe, you know, immediately now he represents knowledge, enlightenment to you. Now whatever you pray to him, you, however you relate with him, you are relating to enlightenment now. Then when you say, you must take us all along the righteous and auspicious path of completion. Now you are praying to the energy of enlightenment, leading us to the experience of supreme consciousness, the original space of complete completion. Oh God, now please understand, you are praying to God directly who is in the form of Agni. Consciousness. May you remove all our incompletions that are obstacles on our God, on our good path of completion, beyond coming and going, birth and death, unto you we surrender with many reverential words, bowing down again and again. I think so much of innocent devotion is 
flowing in this verse see there is no knowledge of who is god but i do not know about it whoever is god i am praying to you <laughs> i am surrendering whoever is god you come and take my surrender <laughs> the innocence but tremendous surrender is flowing in this beautiful verse maybe i'll continue to expand on it in further satsangs because tonight i am going to have teamly dinner with ia teamly is going to have a moonlight candle light temple light dinner with me <laughs> whatever you want you can call so in the further satsangs i'll expand on the innocent surrender embedded described in this verse i bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching casting living shuddhatvaita shaivam the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar off mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation